What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. Today behind me, we have our 2022 Super Duty. And as you may be able to see, we do have a little bit of stuff going on. We're actually in the process of another video right now, but we are on another step, which we are going to be doing with this product right here. So let me explain. I have my upper intake right here, my lower intake, our throttle valve, all of that off of the truck. And if you look inside here, you can see this truck has 7,000 miles, not even, it's 6,700 miles. And you can see some of that sooty buildup starting already on this truck. So that also means it's everywhere else. It is in our intake runners. Check this out. Now, that is what's in your intake. That's, that's your fresh air for your truck. Now, that is also in your piping that is also going into your turbo it's it's just nasty stuff that is caused by your ccv now your ccv is your closed crankcase ventilation system it is that little black box there on the driver's side valve cover and basically what it does when your engine has crankcase pressure there is oil vapor in that and then that goes into a tube which goes into your intake which is right here so our lower intake it, the nasty, sooty, gross, oily air goes into here and then goes into your turbo and is reburned in the engine. But the byproduct of that is, well, we get all of this buildup in our engine. And if this is how much you have after not even 7,000 miles, imagine how much over the lifetime of this engine that stuff is going to just kind of build up in that, build up in your intercooler, build up in all your piping. It's just, it's just nasty stuff. So. I have opted to rectify that problem early with this product from SPE. Now, big thanks to SPE for helping me out with this one. We do have this tube right here, which is gonna become our basically our exhaust for our CCV. So now I also opted for the internal catch can, which is this machine piece right here. You can see all these little holes, almost looks like a little cheese grater. Now, what's gonna happen is, the air and everything is going to be coming up this and then it's going to be coming out of here and then it's going to be going out our tube now we don't want a bunch of oil and everything coming out of this tube because that's going to make a mess it's going to drip on the ground and everything like that we don't want that to happen so what they've designed here is an internal catch can for your valve cover so we don't have to worry about too much of that coming out the end of our tube now you can opt for a longer tube which i think i might do as well this is silicone so it's high quality it's not going to be affected by oil and all the stuff that's going to be going through that and it's just something that's going to last for a very long time also this is just it does have a little bit of a byproduct i'm going to admit this is essentially what they would call a draft tube or a blow by tube so this is going to go to atmosphere so now you're going to smell the oil vapor coming out of that valve covers so what we're going to do is we're going to route that hose over our brake booster and then it's going to come down probably somewhere in this area and we're going to get it out of the way of anything just in case any oil or anything does come out of there and then i'm probably going to extend it and even put it probably all the way to the back of the truck or somewhere closer to where maybe the bed starts just so it's away from the driver's door so i have the truck idling i'm not going to have that smell or whatever when i get in my truck but it's just kind of a trade-off. I mean, if you get rid of that CCV, you don't have that garbage building up in your engine, but it's gotta go somewhere. Some people run it into their exhaust. For me, I think it's just easier to keep everything over on this side. And obviously we can change things, modify things as time goes on, but this is where we're gonna start with this system and kind of see where things go from there and give you guys an opinion of how all of this works. All right, so we got all the bolts out. I'll show you when this thing comes out where they all are like that we have one here on the outside and then there's one on the bottom and then there's two more that are kind of close together on the back side Let's snake this guy out of here Too much of a mess. Hey everybody. Everybody 
wants to catch this guy, but there it is. The oily, nasty box is out. So, I'll set this aside here. It doesn't leak all over my floor. Make sure we got all the factory seals and all that out of there. And hopefully we didn't make too much of a mess, but we'll clean that up. And we will be ready for our new stuff. Look at that. See all that oil in there. And that's all the stuff that's going up into our PCV, our CCV system, and then going back into our engine. So we're gonna clean that area up and then we're ready to install our stuff from SPE. So as you guys heard in the video, and it was right there in front of us, when I pulled this out of the truck, you could see there's a sleeve over here and there's no sleeve there. That is what actually fell out. And this is a factory Ford product. And this is the one that came on my truck right from brand new. So it sits on your valve cover just like that. This is the furthest one back. So as we are wiggling and getting this guy out, obviously doing it with one hand, that I had all my bolts out, I had everything the way it should, and I've talked to people that do these all the time and I've never had this happen ever. So, just word to anybody out there doing what we're doing, you wanna make sure that you use two hands and keep an eye on those. Make sure, make sure that you're holding on to them or something. I mean, you do not want that to fall into your valve cover. If you do, you're gonna have a very bad day because that sleeve is fairly substantial and the valve cover is gonna to have to come off to be able to get it out because this is on the top of the valve cover and there's really no way if it fell onto the top of the head to, to fish it out. That being said, there's also quill tubes on all of the injectors, which are one-time use only, so you'd have to replace all four of them. It's, it's a very big job and my heart really did sink when that happened. So after some frantic searching around underneath the truck, because I wasn't entirely convinced that it did fall inside, I just heard a, something hit metal and then I knew what I was looking for when I saw it missing. And luckily enough, here it is. This is our little metal sleeve and it fell right out of that right here on the back. So let's see if it'll even fit in here tightly at all. Yeah, see if if I push that in, I can feel it kind of grab a little bit, but with any kind of jolting or whatever, this thing would pop out again. But we're just going to leave it in there for now because at least we know we have it. When you drop something, you don't want to just take the chance that maybe it did fall somewhere. You want to make sure that you actually did find it. But luckily enough, we did find it, but be very, very careful that that doesn't happen to you. So now that we have our O-ring installed in this position, we are going to drop this into our back port and then we're gonna put the spout on which has its own O-ring and then we can install our bolts in the rear port. All right, so you can see our example here of how everything looks under the hood. We do have our drain back block off plate right there. And then we do have our hose attachment with our internal catch can on the back and then our hose routes over here and then you can route it into the inner fender well you can route it kind of out towards the inside there's places to zip tie it and mine basically points at the front drive shaft it's not close to it but it points at it so it's kind of you know where it is it's not going to be dripping anything or making a mess really in that location but i think as far as any kind of odor or whatever that might come out of something like this, you might want to put it a little bit further back. You can get extensions for the hose from SPE or whatever you see fit. But for our example, for how this can be done, this is what it looks like. Then over here, what remains of the kit, we do have two extra bolts, but I believe this is just for if you do not opt for the internal catch can. So then you don't have the extra length on the bolts and you can just use these, but those are gonna be spares. Now we have this guy right here and the clamp, which is gonna go over here on your intake, lower intake manifold. It's gonna sit right there like that. Then you're gonna put your clamp over top, tighten, not drop it, but you're gonna tighten it up. And then this is all nice and closed up. And when it's installed, it looks just like that. 
All right, so it's been a little bit since I did the install, and you guys are all seeing this in the one video, but I wanted to give a little bit of feedback just after running this for a little bit, just so you can do everything right off the hop. What I did is I ran it down over in this area. I'll show you kind of where I ended up. So you can see our SPE line right here goes right down to that little brass connector. Now it used to just end there and then all of the smell from the oil and all that stuff, all the vapor was coming out right around this area, front wheel kind of driver's side, probably creeping back up into the engine compartment and all of that. And I just was not enjoying the smell of that. I could smell it in the cab, especially when I opened the door. So I had a piece of silicone hose, three quarter inch, then I got this brass barb fitting and then ended up running it all the way over here. Comes through here, goes over here, and now it exits right there beside the fuel tank. Now I've been running this for probably a few weeks and I didn't have any oil at all. So the catch can is doing its job really, really well and no issues whatsoever with any drips on the driveway. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues with it being over here. You can go with like a catch can setup. If you wanted to put a catch can and then run it over into your exhaust, some people have done that as well. Kind of gives you that little bit of a venturi. So it's actually trying to pull that stuff out instead of just the natural aspiration of your engine. But for me, I think this is where we're gonna run it for now. Kind of see how that all goes. So there it is everybody, we got everything all sorted out with our PCV system. Now, unfortunately, Greta said we had to take that back off and put the factory one on, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But if you didn't want to have to take yours off, that is totally up to you and you, you can live your story. You can do whatever you want in life. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out the link in the description for this product from SPE. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.